I made YouTube videos full time for about three years. It was something that I feel like came very naturally to me and I loved doing it for a really long time. And it was basically my identity for a big chunk of my life. Um, and, and in the past six months, I have, for the first time, completely stopped making videos. I've been spending the last few months trying to figure out how to go back into doing this in a way that's comfortable for me. And so this video is kind of a way for me to explain where I'm at, what my future plans are for YouTube. And it is also sort of another attempt for me to overcome something that I'm really struggling with. If you're watching this, then you're probably aware of it. Last year, I made some really bad mistakes with my platform. I was uh, criticized a lot and I was under a lot of public scrutiny for it. And even though a lot of problems that I had with the platform were pre-existing before this controversy, this is what kind of caused me to finally, I guess, face the unhealthy relationship that I had with my job. I was pretty reckless with the things that I said and the things I posted. And for a long time, it was really hard for me to face that criticism head on. It took me a long time to actually listen to what people were saying to me because it was really hard for me to actually look at the things that people were saying about me online in the first place. And so I just ignored it for a really long time. Even though the way I posted content was already in a bad place before these things happened, I ended up developing an even worse relationship with my job because I had horrible reactions looking at hate comments and what people would say about me online. It's still something that I'm not numb to. I see it on an accident a lot and it's still something that affects me pretty heavily. Even deciding to make this video and be honest about how hard it did hit me, it is still hard to not be embarrassed or sound like I am victimizing myself for being unable to post videos because of my own actions. But because it's kind of completely brought me to a standstill with posting content, the purpose of this video is just for me to be completely open with my audience about how this has sort of changed my life since it's been really hard for me to talk about and properly uh, explain how things are changing, I guess. And after months and months of hiding from making and posting videos, my anxiety had closely attached itself to my ability to create videos and to really do anything that has to do with my job. Making those mistakes in front of so many people and seeing the way that the backlash affected my friends and my family and myself, it added to the already very intense feelings that I had around the situation that I found myself in. And months ago, I realized how bad it really was. You know, being in the environment, shooting videos in my office, being around friends that I met through the internet, talking and reaching out to my close friends and family members about how I'm doing, and even my relationship being with somebody that is online and who has been affected by this. It has really frozen me in a way that nothing really has before, and it ended up affecting really every part of my life, and it became even harder to talk about because of how much embarrassment I have around the fact that I brought these things on myself. A lot of the advice that people give you when you find yourself in this scenario is to keep pushing ahead so people forget about all the shit you did in the past. And people constantly try to remind you that the things that people say about you online are not the way that like reality is and the way that people actually feel about you. But that's not really something that is easy to believe when you see the, the criticism face first and you also believe that you did something very wrong. I continued to find myself in this loop of trying to figure out how to put myself back out there in a way that was healthy, but feeling all of that anxiety and shame. It didn't really feel like a controversy that I could bounce back from like I've seen with other creators. It's not something that I can easily block out. I just 
I hold on to a lot of the mistakes I make and I think about them every day. And even though I know that I'm growing and I know I want to move on and I want to do things in a better way, I also know that a lot of people wouldn't care if I didn't do that. And, um, and that's a hard thing to accept when your job is constantly being affirmed by strangers online who want to see what you're doing. And again, I caused these things to happen to myself and the people around me. So it's even more embarrassing for me to finally just kind of talk about it because I can't really bring myself to talk about anything else. And as time moved on, I continued to struggle finding the confidence to do what I was doing before and the pressure of knowing that this is the way that I also support myself and that this is the hell i'm shooting this while fireworks are going off on the 4th of july <laughs> and i've never really struggled with anxiety like i have in this way this like all-encompassing way where because this is like my career and it's what i envisioned myself doing when i don't have hope that that is working out there's nothing else to distract me every facet of my life becomes sort of taken over by this anxiety that I don't know what I'm going to do with my life if I never get over this and I can't post videos again. And it was a journey even making this video, which has kind of been another effort to just try to get myself comfortable doing it again and figuring out how to do it in the way that I did it when I first started doing YouTube. I loved mm -hmm. making videos because I was talking to a community and there felt like there was an exchange there of an audience and, and someone who was creating something for a group of people. And I think now more than ever, I've felt the disconnect between myself and that audience. And it's a really isolating thing, especially when it's something that came so naturally to me for such a long time and to find myself with so much anxiety, even making this video right now, it's a very scary thing to realize me trying to overcome this has been something that's been going on for a while i actually spent weeks working on this video that i wanted to put out on the day that i left for tour and spent all these days worrying about it leading up to it um and i never ended up putting it out i left home for a month and i had a lot of time to process away from creating videos um but when i came back thinking that things might be different I found it even harder somehow. I tried making a different video similar to this just yesterday, and it took me so long to build up the courage to actually even hit record. And I sat there for two hours just trying to find the words of what is on my mind and how I can convey that in a way that like resonates with people. And even after spending all day trying to prepare myself to do something as simple as just like, yapping to the camera for an hour um i could not bring myself to get past the first couple minutes and i and i gave up and decided to try it again today with a little bit more of a script anyways i yapped a lot but i want to talk about the reason why i'm making this video i came up with the idea of trying to post lower stakes content that is easier for me to just talk about in an organic way and if i can just get myself more comfortable posting these quick videos that don't take as much effort, then it might be easier for me. Jesus, there's so many fireworks outside. I just want to talk about stuff that I like. And I feel like for a long time, I talked about stuff that the algorithm wanted me to talk about. And I want to do what I originally liked doing on YouTube, which is just getting on camera and talking about things I care about, whether it's 21 pilots or scary story telling YouTubers or crumble cookie, anything. Just put it online. That's my issue is I can't, I can't finalize something and put it out there anymore. And I knew that in order to just get back and make videos as if nothing happened, I would need to confront and talk openly about what's going on with me right now. It is something that's currently affecting me so much more than I'd like to admit or that I think people would ever really realize.
because of what's happened, I've experienced so much growth and I've put myself in so many situations where I've challenged the things I believe in the kind of person I am. And it, so it has brought me to a point where I feel like I can be a person that I'm proud to be. But at the same time, the way that my anxiety is so connected to this job and my relationship with the internet and an audience, uh, it's made things very complicated. And so I want to start making content and interacting with an audience who's interested in me talking about the things I love. And I want to make it feel like it used to when I first started it before I feel like my judgment was so skewed by the way I looked at YouTube and the way my videos performed and the way I was perceived as a creator online. I had such an unhealthy relationship with all these things and it took something big like this happening to have me reevaluate all of it. I wouldn't go back and change anything because I know that I'm so different now and I approach things so differently than I did a year ago and if I didn't find myself under so much criticism and I didn't find myself in a situation where I had to stop posting, I don't think I would have changed. I don't think I would have been doing things differently. I think I would have just carried on making the same kind of videos, saying the same types of things about people. Trying to constantly outperform myself and game the algorithm and have this sort of competitive outlook on it, it caused me to stop enjoying YouTube altogether is something that I enjoyed as like a creative output for myself. It became this stressor that that felt like it was always weighing on me unless things performed the best they possibly could. For months, I was living at home and struggling so hard trying to figure out how I was going to continue moving through life when I lost so much of what I felt like made me who I am. And just last month, that timeline of just being at home and ruminating and everything that happened finally stopped because I left home for a month and I just got back. I was on tour with my band and that ended up being an experience that completely changed the way I feel about what I want to do with my life and the way I feel about entertainment and performance. And I got to meet a lot of people who reminded me why I love doing what I do, and who especially helped me realize that there are so many more things I want to accomplish within entertainment and, and who I am and what I do. I felt that community again that I had when I first started YouTube, and it reminded me how much it made me happy before it felt like all of those views and that audience turned into this thing that I had to maximize to make myself feel good. Does any of that make sense? I feel like I'm yapping a lot and it doesn't make sense, but I have to commit to making this video because I don't know, I'm running out of ideas. And so I, I want to try this out. And there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about that I haven't had the chance to talk about online. And I want to stop putting the pressure of making some big video that's going to perform really well. I just want to make something that I care about and talk about something I care about for an audience of people who are still there to support me. I also have been wanting to stream again lately, and I think that on this channel I might begin to do that. Um, but back when I first started doing YouTube full time, streaming was my favorite thing in the world and I had such a great community. And when that audience got bigger and bigger, things changed and that that connection changed and I haven't been able to love it the same way I did a few years ago. And so I think I may go back to that. And if that's something that people are interested in, I want to just talk to people and interact with an audience and enjoy being on the internet again. And who knows if that's going to happen, but I don't think I'm done trying just yet. Even if there are so many days where I feel like I might never be able to do this the same way again. I met a lot of people on tour who were there since the very beginning and who would tell me about how they watched my videos from so long ago and it feels like things are so different than they were when I first started YouTube and it's really hard for me to see how different my relationship has changed with all of these things and it's sad that I've watched that love for creating 
slowly dissipate and i think that i want to continue to try to make it work i don't necessarily deserve a second chance i don't really think i deserve people's trust but i do want to love doing this again in a healthy way and i feel like i have a different perspective that i want to share with the world and so i think i'm going to try it and if people are interested in seeing what i want to talk about then i would appreciate that and i will hopefully continue to make videos at least on this channel sharing dumb bullshit i'm very thankful for the people watching who have enjoyed the content i've made in the past and who are still interested in seeing what i may do in the future especially if you disagreed with the things i said and you were disappointed in how i've acted online in the past i appreciate that there are people out there who still are cheering me on and who are still interested in what i have to say it is very humbling for me to be in a position where i am talking about this thing i'm struggling with um in such an open way and it's not something that i'm comfortable with doing but i don't know i i think i want things to change and even though i i have a lot clearer of a vision of what i want to do with my life after tour i know that part of that vision involves me connecting with the community again and so i'm going to try my very best to make that happen and i appreciate it if you are coming along for the journey that's it that's all i gotta say thank you for watching maybe i'll be back soon with another video appreciate you all Bye bye